Hey guys, Cutter Up Rob here. I'm um, just going to do a video on uh, setting valve lash. Um, seem to have uh, lots of people asking about it. Um, lots of people phoning, so I figured I'd do a video of it. Um, got the old, uh, I got the old race truck engine. Just I just got the head uh, torqued on it here now. Um, so I just I actually started the valve lash already, and then I thought, man, I should do a video on this. So um, I'm just gonna I'll, I'll start over again. Um, just to show um, what what it takes to do it. So um, to start with now, there's no front timing case on here yet. Um, so it's super easy to set up your top dead center. You can see you can see the timing marks there on the crankshaft. So that tells you your top dead center. So you can also do it with the pin back here if it's a 12 valve which there's no pin in the hole there yet but um you can do it with that pin as well um but obviously uh if you don't have the if it's not a 12 valve if it's a common rail you can actually uh the, the harmonic balancers are um are marked dead center number one if you're on top dead center number one both of your rockers are going to be loose. And then if you're on top dead center, and then th you'll have both. Now I haven't said they've done the valve step, but there's no lash there. These, your number six will be tight. So you roll the motor over 360 degrees, and now you're going to be on top dead number six. So then you do the other half of the lash. So, not rocket science to do this. Um, the six, seven, um, the harmonic balancer is actually marked might be hard to see it if you guys can see that or not but anyways if you look at the front of the harmonic balancer where your pin goes in on the common rail or your dowel it'll be straight right above that we have a mark and then it says tdc on it the common rail all the common rails are the same so whether it be five nine or six seven have that and the 12 valves um, they don't have that but you can pin those or you can just roll it over until you have um, both your your number one cylinders loose i advise the easiest like that's the way i usually do it but it's so easy to pin them and then you're if you've never done it before you know it's at top dead center so to start with um when you're on this and like i said i'd already started this before i thought about doing the video what you do so you're set on a 12 valve early common rail or any of the common rails that are deleted uh is going to be 10 and 20. um the emissions admit the emissions uh trucks i want to say is 12 and 26 but it'll actually say right on the valve cover um we don't around here don't have many trucks that are emissions compliant um nature of the beast around here but anyways um so you can just put it underneath there and you you know there you want a little tiny bit of drag um on on your set but not a lot um these ones are relatively dry so they do have a bit of a drag so you're Easy on the 12 valve and the 24 are the same. Obviously the 24 has a set of bridges in here um, because there's two valves that it's pushing. But so number one, if you haven't set on number one, you're gonna do intake exhaust and then intake and then rotating um, per cylinder. So intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust. So right now we'll do And like I said, you just want it until there's a little bit of drag there. And then I always mark the top of them just so that I know I've done it. And then, so like I said, these ones I've already done. You might be able to see the marks on there. Um, and then you want to roll the motor over 360 degrees. is going to bring it to top dead number six. They're definitely out of out of adjustment. And then all the ones that you haven't adjusted now will be loose. 
So now we just go through and adjust the ones that haven't been adjusted yet. And just make sure you're like I just put two the two feeler gauges that I need just on a, a key ring just I find it easy just make sure that you're switching your key ring your from 10 to 20 when you're going from intake to exhaust and I find it myself when you're marking stuff it's just easier if you get called away, you don't have to worry about which one you've done and which one you haven't done, because then they're marked. What I always do is I hold the screwdriver. I hold the screwdriver when I'm tightening it so it doesn't move. And then that's why I don't take the feeler gauge out until after I've tightened it. So now both on number six, because we're on the second, the second half of the valve set, um, which could be the other way around, depending on where you started, top dead center wise. Then you just do both of these ones. Obviously, this is super easy when you're doing it in the truck, but or uh, when you're doing it out of the truck. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna do an adjustment. A couple of these rockers I had to. This is uh, I had to replace because there was damage from when the engine oh, and the oil pump decided that it didn't like pumping anymore. And then that's all it takes. You just have to put it back together now. Um, you know, in this case, you're putting your individual valve covers on. I like to make sure everything's good and clean um, when you're putting it back on. And then uh, what I do is, if you're having them apart and clean them, which I, I recommend to take them actually apart and clean them, but it, it just depends. If you're not taking it apart and everything moves freely, then you don't have to. But then all I do is just take, um, like an engine assembly lube here right at the moment, just engine oil works as well just dump some on top of that hole and then it can leak down inside the hole this isn't going to run probably till next week but so this stuff will just run down in there and not run down run away and like i said that's as easy or as easy or as hard as you want to make it um, it's pretty simple to do. Um, you don't want an engine that's cold. Like on one of these, I would say you probably want to set, if you've never done one, you probably want to set, you can actually see it running down into a couple of them. Um, I would say you want to set probably an hour and a half time you clean and set everything um, to do a 12 valve. It probably close to the same to do a 24 valve, no matter what 24 valve it is. Um, you know, we charge an hour and a half to do it by the time we take everything apart and clean it and put everything back together. Um, you know, that's what we're into it for time wise. Um, but that's as easy as it is. So uh, there's another video for you guys. Uh, hopefully it helps out. Um, if you got any questions, comments, um, looking for any other information, uh, hit me up down in the comments and uh, talk to you guys later.